Preppy Radio, I'm Chiara Nicoletti from the 73rd Venice International Film Festival. Today I'm in company of Christopher Murray, director of Il Cristo Ciego. So welcome, Christopher. Thank you very much. As you might know, Fred is the official only online international radio station of the festival. So we are very glad to have you here. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you to describe for your own, from your own words El Cristo Ciego. Um, well, El Cristo Ciego is a, is a trip, a religious trip of a character that uh, wants to make a miracle. And, uh, and through this story, this uh, adventure, we discover how faith uh, has a really important role uh, in how communities give meaning to their context when the, there's a, a, a dramatic reality all around them. And uh, so I think it's a, it's a field of constructing meaning, about uh, giving meaning to life through stories, through myth, and through faith. Uh, I read in your press notes that you're not a religious person, so I was wondering, how did you get the idea of the film? Did you base the character, for example, on something that you heard of or someone that you known, that you met? Well, you know, this kind of, uh, of stories of our sacrifice, uh, to get something from reality. You know? uh, it's really common in that uh, area uh, as another part of the world, you know, the idea of sacrifice to do something. Um, so I had this idea of, of, uh, of a Chilean Christ, of a Christ settled in the north of Chile that I found it uh, really interesting. Uh, but I didn't have really like the story, the heart of the story. And that came out from the place, you know. For me, it's important to listen to the place, to listen to the conflicts there, to to observe the the, the what is happening there, and I, I, from that take the story. It's not about imposing a story; it's about uh, like uh, taking out from the territory. So, so as I, as you said, I'm not religious, but yes, I think that religion is something that uh, faith happens. Faith uh, exists; it's part of the culture. It's a really important thing in the daily life of people. So what I wanted to do was to go behind that and understand what's the reality be behind the emotion of faith. Um, so the, the film goes inside the intimate life and conflicts and stories about people. And I think that's the, um, what inspired me to make this film. In the film, at a certain point, it doesn't even matter if he really is really able to do miracles, but what's important is that he's able to, to get emotions from people, and religion, in this case, helps them to uh, hold it together. I mean, and I imagine that that was the, the intent. Yes, you said for me, and, and in the film, there's not an intention of judge in terms of what is true and what is not true, what happens and what not happened. Because the important thing is how that, that, that construction uh, is made to give sense to something. So the, the question is not it's what it is behind that and what uh, affects that. And, 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 uh, and as you said, I think faith also is a, uh, is a, is a way to connect people. And uh, um, so for me, it doesn't, the, the miracle is just an ex excuse to, um, to, to talk about other things that are more important, that it's the, the, the life and the dramatic stories behind that, uh, that faith. Is that true that uh, Michael Silva is the only professional actor and the other ones are uh, taken from those real places? Yeah, Michael is the only actor, but he's from the north also. Uh, so he's uh, also connected with that story. Uh, you know, I, 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 I choose him because of that also, because uh, he's a really good actor. He also is from the north, and he's talent, and he uh, has an incredible face. And uh, he was open to, to work with non-professional actors that, that became professional during the film, because, to be honest, we made a, a, a lot of work with them, and uh, finally they made a great job because uh, when you act something that happens to you really and, and you talk from your own experience, there's something unique and uh, there's a truth there that I find it uh, really important. And, uh, and in this, uh, and this film we, we, we work with, with it, and, um, and as I said, there's people that live in the, um, in the street, people that are drug addicts, 
people that uh, are suffering and the idea of giving them uh, a, a space to work as professionals and we work all together in this kind of community that, that, that was a shooting was uh, something really incredible and, and, uh, and kind of mystical and also, I don't know, it's something inspiring for me to do that, to connect and to use cinema as a way to discover reality that is not my reality. I'm not talking about what happened to me because I, I don't come from that, but it's important to use cinema also as a way to connect and to communicate these problems that affect not only uh, Chile, you know, social injustice and inequality is not only part of Chile, it's part of uh, a lot of places in the world. Uh, and, and that's a good thing of being here to connect with this story and uh, with that other audience. I have to say that uh, uh, at the moment, at moment uh, I felt like I was watching another film. I mean, I felt like I was watching, for example, I will make a strong parallelism with the, I know, high school movies where um, uh, a teenage boy gets bullied. I mean, there are so many levels of understanding in this film. I mean, the way he's treated is like an outsider sometimes. Yeah. A person that is different is treated. So there's also that level. I mean, I mean, for me, for, it was like that. I know if it was correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, there, are, as you said, there are different levels. I think there's some kind of a road trip also in the film. Uh, also, there's a t the theme of identity, of course. You know, the identity of someone that uh, starts to open to the world, start to connect with some that uh, tries to 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 get across this difficult, uh, I don't know, this uh, this bullying, as you said. I think there's something about identity, also about myth, and uh, and I think the important thing of a film is that. Uh, the reflection of a film has to work in different levels, so it could be more complex and have more space to, to talk about it. Thank you so much, Christopher, for me with us, for sharing your experience in directing El Cristo Ciego. Good luck. Thank you very much. And this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.